so now we will see input type url in html form so guys basically the input tag along with the type url is used for input fields that should contain a url address so basically let's say if you have a url or a link to a particular web page and you want to provide it inside one of the text boxes on one of the websites that will help you in order to have certain validations in place so guys depending on the web browser the url field can be automatically validated when submitted so it depends on the browser that the user uses in order to fill the form or provide the url in one of the input fields that is being developed by you so you should test it thoroughly on different browsers whenever you are going to use the input tag along with the type url and some of the smartphones or also recognize the url type and adds a dot com to the keyboard to match the url so basically this is one of the important features of the smartphone in today's date that it will help the user in order to provide a dot com button on the keyboard while the user is providing the url in the input field that is provided by the developer so guys let us check this with the help of example in vs code over here so previously we had seen the input field with the type telephone number and the type that is time over here which will allow the user to provide the telephone number and the time respectively now after this we will have another input field followed by colon and this time we will have the type as url so we simply type url over here and this is the emet abbreviation which is one of the special features of vs code in this case so guys as you can see we have the input tag along with the type url and over here for the name attribute we will say url in this case and for the id attribute we will say url once again and before this we will also have the label over here and for the for attribute we will say url so that when the user clicks on this particular label this input field is focused so that the user can provide the required link or the url to the web page so over here we will say provide web page link in this case followed by colon so we are asking the user to provide the web page link which is also known as url to a particular web page and after this input tag we will have couple of line breaks over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see provide web page link label is being displayed over here and when the user clicks on this particular label the input field is getting focused in this case and the user can provide the url over here so let's say we provide google as the url so is this the correct url no in this case this is not the correct format of the url still we will test it let me just click on submit button over here as you can see please enter the url error message is being displayed over here so let me just provide dot com over here in this case so let us check whether now this url will be submitted or not so when we click on submit so again please enter a url so the important thing that we are missing over here in this case is the https so whenever we go to the web browser and type one of the urls so let's say we want to go to google so simply we can provide google.com over here but automatically the browsers are designed in such a way that they provide the https prefix over here before the domain so that is what is being expected over here in the html form as well so before this let us say we provide https followed by colon and then two times forward slashes over here now this is the correct url that will be accepted by this input field of type url over here so let me just click on submit button once again so as you can see url parameter is being displayed over here in the url and then after that we have the https and the entire url that we have provided in this case it is displaying the ascii characters over here for the colon and the forward slashes that we had provided so guys in this way you can provide any of the urls based on your project requirements and ask the user to paste a particular link to the web page if the user is expected to do so but make sure that you test this input field on different browsers because we never know what browser the actual user is using while he or she is submitting the html form or using it outside the html form as well so comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is input type week in html form so stay tuned